Hi, we're Luke and Faye and this is our dog Nelly. We've spent the last nine months turning our Mercedes Sprinter van Nancy into a tiny home on wheels. We've taken the plunge, sold our house and all of our things and are about to embark on a pretty epic journey. This week we'll be showing you the realities of what it's like to sell everything, downsize all your belongings and pack everything down to fit in the van. This is going, and this is going, this isn't going. Oh yeah, she's not going. So this weekend, we um, it's basically less than three weeks now until we have to potentially move out of the house. And we have so much to do, like genuinely, I can't even believe how much we have to do. So the plan this weekend is Luke's going to be, his job is to empty the garage, so anyone doing a van build will know how much stuff you accumulate, and I feel like we have just times that by a million, we've just got so much stuff left over. Um, so that's going to be his job this weekend, to try and empty the garage as much as possible. So much stuff to get rid of. <laughs> Bye. Operation clear out is in motion. We are, we've got, how long have we got? Less than three weeks left to get out, everything is going. The mountain bike's been sold today. Um, so yeah, it's um, oh, what's that? it's a it's a busy busy time to be working, to sell the house, and to do everything else that comes with it and live life as well. And then the van's done. We've got a. Got, oh, I think we've got like a few little things to do in the van, just like covering up some cables and some cupboards, and then we're good to go. So, oh, actually, I've got to install the Wi Fi antenna, so they've got the aerial for the Wi Fi rotor that we've got, and then we're good. So, it just means that we can work on the road and things are a little bit easier um, in terms of getting signal. We don't have to worry so much about park ups, I'm sure we still do, but um, hopefully, we'll have enough signal to to just carry on working and it won't affect us at all. Out for a peaceful walk in the midst of moving house and clearing stuff out. Oh, nice. <sighs> Come on, Nels. It's actually really stressful, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone tells you how stressful it is. Not that anyone I know has ever like um, sold everything and moved into a van. I think it's the same as just moving house in general, though, isn't it? Like, yeah. you don't realise how stressful it is until you're going through it. Apart from all of the stuff that you have, you've got to sell. I think it, it, it would be less stressful if we were just packing up everything and yeah, taking it to another that is place. True. Yeah, I know. But we have to get rid of everything. Everything's going. Some miles on the clear blue skies We 
And then let's see the new table. Wow. Oh my god, it looks so it nice. It looks so nice, doesn't it? Oh my god. Oh, that looks sick. That is so lush. Oh my god. Is it really, really it smooth as well? Wow, we could probably put it in the van tonight. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's so beautiful. I love how it's smooth. Well, I'll zoom in on it. She can't wait to get it in the van. I want to touch it, but I don't want to touch it. How nice. Gorgeous. Perfect. Love it. Love it. So, long story short, we've got eight days to move out. Oh. and I've just tested positive for COVID. I had a massage on Monday and I thought um, I was just aching from that and then I had a headache and then I was feeling a bit sick and I did one test and it was negative and then I've just done another test and it's positive and we've got eight days to move out but I'll finish isolation 10 days from um, when the symptoms started, which is move out day. So now we're just hoping that Faye doesn't get COVID or test positive because then we can't clear anything out, but she's double jabbed. So she can actually get, like take stuff. She doesn't have to isolate just because I'm sick. So we're staying away from each other. Um, and we've still got loads to sort. All of this needs to go into the van because we've just repainted it. Some kitchen stuff needs to go in also into the van. Our buyers are having some of it. There's the new table to fit. There's lots of camping furniture everywhere. So we've got a few things to finish tonight and that'll be it. Our first few days are probably not gonna be what we wanted them to be in here. Um, just because, you know, we are we're gonna have to take some stuff to my mum's, we've got some more stuff to take to my brothers. Um, and it's not an ideal situation. However, the van's looking sweet. We will get there. I feel like it's like life's final test to see whether we can achieve some sort of freedom. It's like, oh, here you go. Here's a, another spanner in the works. Um, but yeah, the van is looking mighty fine. All fresh, need to bring the cushions back in finish down here we'll give a full tour on this at some point um, Nelly's little bedroom is now finished which I think the light might still be on for so those batteries will soon die out um, so there we have it this bedroom is now empty I've got the office all sorted out stuff going to the charity shop some of the furniture is staying some clothes in here and that's about it so we've got one week today, we'll be moving out, hopefully we'll exchange tomorrow, and that will be that. Oh, Dear? <laughs> Why is it not tidy? So I'm still ill, but we're trying our new table in the van. We've got three days, four days to move out now. Faye's done everything. Um, she's just going to get the rest of the lagoon mount. Do I just stick it in and twist? Yeah, slide it down and then twist it. <clears throat> I love it. It looks nice, doesn't it? It looks so nice. It's a bit dingy on the drive, isn't it? It's like... Yeah, it's so dingy. Like, it just doesn't even feel cosy at all. I know. Shit. Oh, it's gorgeous. I can wait I to get out of here. how smooth it is as well. Yeah, it's lush. Two more days till we move out. And it's actually a bit of a weird feeling. So we've lived in this house for 
uh, just over two years, two years and a couple of months. We bought it from new. Um, Faye's still staying in the van tonight because I come out of isolation tomorrow. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> You ready? <laughs> oh, big old cobweb there. Oh, I can't leave that cobweb on there. It's up and down there. That's it. All done. That's it. All done. Thanks for watching and to follow our journey and be notified of our next video hit the subscribe button and we'll see you soon.